Hello, we are now on episode five of the Django Class Space Video series. Um, in this episode, we're going to be talking about detail view, which is a very commonly used uh, view. It's used for when you have a single object that you want to base a page off of. Um, so, for example, blog, a blog article is a single object of our article class. And so we're going to take a look at what goes into making this page right here. So first of all, the URL um, is pretty simple. Uh, you have a primary key. You can also have a slug field. So like if you wanted to have the, the article name for this one, puppies and kittens, uh, puppies and kittens, you could have this and it would be able to find the article as well. But for this example, we're just going to be using the primary key. So here in the URL, we're getting the primary key, and that's all we're doing. It's just blog, primary key, and that's going to get us, um, that's going to send us to article detail view. And in here, article detail view is just three lines. Um, so this is based off of detail view, and it's all we have to do to have the most basic detail view is provide a template name. Or we can actually use a default name, which um, for this it would be detail. I don't, I don't really like using the default names. It's pro it's probably good practice, um, but for the most part, I I still specify the template name. I'm you know someday I might change, but I'd rather have the template named article rather than article detail. Um, so, and we also specify the model that we're looking at, which is an article. And just with these three lines of code, we provide all of the view logic to give us this. So let's take a look at what goes into this, because obviously there's a lot of magic that, that's involved. Um, and we're going to find out how this works, how it knows what article to get, and how to render the template. So to do that, we're going to take a look at Jingle Source, as we've been doing, and take a look at Detail View. And we can see that it's made up of the base Detail View and a single object template response mix-in. Um, so first of all, let's actually let's just scroll up and see what we find. Um, where do we want to start? Probably start here in the base Detail View, which is based off of View, which we've covered, I think, in episode like three or something like that. And we're adding the single object mix in to that, which is going to add the functionality to do what we want to do. Um, so as you can see here, uh, typically in the in the actual view, they like to just put the function of of the the straight um, res, uh, what is it? request function. So it's going to get the get request, and then it's going to map it to this function, and then it's going to get the object that we're looking for. In our case, it's the blog article. And we will take a look at this here in a second. Um, this is how it's going to get the, get the object. And then it's going to add in the context to render in the template. And then it's going to render that template and return that as the view. Um, so let's scroll up a little bit. And we're going to take a look at this single object mix-in, which is how we're going to get this get object. So single object mixin is what is included in all the views that deal with a single object. So you can think of a detail view, you can think of an update view, um, and probably maybe, I don't think it's with a delete view, um, but it is used in the views that want a single object. Um, so this get object function, this is what was called to get the object. And, and what we're going to see is most of the logic here. Um, so you can specify a query set in the, in the view. So if I am in my view and I specify a query set, um, article.objects.filter like active equals true. If, if I only want this to return if an article is active, I can limit it here in the query set. And it will only look for articles that are within that query set. For this example, I'm not going to do that, and it's going to get it's going to get objects .all, and I'll show you guys where that happens. Um, where am I? 
So here it's looking for a query set. Here it's getting the primary key or the slug. All of this is, is um, getting the primary key or the slug. And then it's going to get the, it's going to filter the query set based on that. Now, if we don't have a, a primary key or a slug, it obviously does not know what to get. So it's going to give us this error. And then once it filters the query set, it's going to return that object. And that will be the object that we have that is used to uh, in our template um, that we can get data from. Uh, get query set is a hook for getting the query set. Oh, look at that. And it's going to look to see if there's a query set, first of all. If, if, uh, if there is a query set, it skips all of this and it's just going to use the query set that we define. If not, um, it's going to take the model and it's going to get all, which I just showed you guys. This is where that happens. Um, and if there is no query set, um, if we specify a query set, uh, this is going to happen if, I guess, if there is no query set and no model, um, then it's going to give us this, where it can't, it doesn't know what to use to start by finding our object. Um, getting the slug field, you can specify the slug field to use. So if we do, if we did, um, if we did use the title puppies and kittens, we would need to, let me turn off my Slack here real quick. Um, we would need to specify that. Um, well, first of all, we need to change this to be slug. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and run this. Let's see if it does work. Um, slug field um, is title. And let's see if this works here. Oops. Puppies and kittens. Uh, Oh, that's D. This needs to be like, I don't know, S. I did not run through this before, so I haven't done this in a while. Mm. Anyway, you can mess around with this, but you can also filter by the slug. Uh, and you just have to specify, you do specify here. Did I spell slug field right? Maybe I spelled slug field wrong. No, no, I did. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, you have to specify which field you want to be the slug. Okay, uh, going down, this is where we start getting into context. So this is where, actually, let's take a look at my template. So in the template, I have this article. Um, I have this article context value, which is my article object. I didn't specify that anywhere here. It just automatically does that with this context object name. Actually, with this get context data is where it does it. Um, this is where it's going to specify my my object, which was set in in here, and it's going to find that object that I set, and it's going to set it to object. So, but as you saw, I'm using article. I'm using article. If I were using object, that would work too. This is good for when you have a template that is reusable for multiple models. Um, you can use object and then the same template will work for um, different uh, different model instances. But in this case, I'm just using it for article. And so it's setting object and then here it's also setting um, the context object name, which in this case, this returns article because it's looking at my model and then it's setting this to article is also the self object. So that's why article works. And so then moving down, that was all a base detail view right here, um, which was that mix in along with the normal view. Um, and then here you'll also see that it's this, this other mix in is being used. And here, this is where we're gonna do get templates names. So if, if you remember me saying towards the beginning, um, I can not have this template and it's going to automatically give me a template name. Um, so if we go here, it'll say this template does not exist. This article detail template does not exist. 
And that is because it gets set here and get template name. That's how that works. Uh, where are we? This is this is where this get template names is where it is uh it's getting that default name. So that's how that works. But I have my template just named article. So I have to specify um, template name and so So because I have that template name, it is going to, um, with this super, I believe is where it happens. Um, it's running this super and it is getting me that template name. And so that's why it knows that template. And I believe that is everything about detail view. So just to summarize, actually, you know, let me show you, um, let's go through and let's add a little bit of context here. Let's go ahead and add, like, if we want to show, like, all the articles on this page as well, let's go ahead and show, like, all the articles down here below. Um, so to do that, what we would do is we need to add in context. We're going to have, because what we want to have here is we want to have another div, and we want to have, like, all of our articles, article list. We're going to have an article list. So to do that, we need to we need to put some context. We need to add in some context here. Um, so let's go ahead and override. We're going to extend this get context data. And we're going to set the base context as the super again. Uh, self, and then let's run this. So this is going to set the base context, which we discussed last episode. And then we're going to set a new one, which is article list. And we're going to set this to article.objects.all. And, and like technically, we can do like self.get query set. And I believe, let's see if this works. I believe this is going to give us the same thing. Because in here, um, this get query set is returning, remember it's returning article.objects.all. So let's go ahead and use that. This is going to be the same thing. And then we'll return context. And we should be able to see all of our articles here. Okay, so here are our articles. Let's go ahead and organize this just a little bit better. Uh, we need to move this outside of here. And so then we will be able to do a basic for article in article list. And let's go ahead and close that. And here we would do, we can just do like a, um, an href to the article dot get absolute URL. And this get absolute URL is set in the models. This is set here. So you'll have to, if you do use that, you'll have to use this and set that absolute URL, which is needed for other things in in um, the Django generic views as well. So you should, if you can, you should always set this and use it. Um, so it, it gets rid of some, it gets your code more dry and it's highly recommended to use that um, so that you don't have to replace the, the hrefs throughout your whole uh, project. So then let's go ahead and do article.title and we'll close that and what did I do? For article in article list and for. Okay. So here we have these. Um, obviously I would you know make it look better but that is just something else that that you'll need to do based on whatever you're using for your um, CSS. So that pretty much sums up detail view. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, the next episode, I, uh, we're going to be talking about list views, which is going to display uh, multiple objects. So something like this where we display all of our articles. Um, and there's also some other cool stuff like pagination and 
and other fun stuff like that that come packaged with list views. So yeah, hope to see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed this article and see you next time.